What are Fortune 500 CEOs thinking about today in relation to resiliency around business continuity and crisis communications and crisis management? I'm here to tell you. I'm Brian Strauser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. Earlier this week, I was in New York City at just such a forum, and we were discussing with these CEOs these topics of resilience and what was on their minds. And there were five things that really stood out in this conversation. The first one, absolutely no surprise, cybersecurity threats and data breaches. There was a lot of discussion about how increasingly digital our world has become and how much companies are now reliant upon collaborative technologies in this hybrid and distributed world that we're operating in. CEOs are more concerned about the risks associated with cyber attacks and data breaches than ever before. They see these attacks as becoming more sophisticated, that the threat from them is growing, and CEOs are seeking not to understand only the technical aspects of these kind of attacks, but also how do they strategically manage such a crisis? Everything from incident response to communication strategies, long-term preventive measures. A lot of discussion about getting the right cybersecurity talent or directors with cybersecurity experience on their boards, about the increasing importance of cybersecurity leadership in their organization, and how hard they found it was becoming to find a good chief information security officer that could balance the technical aspects, the strategic aspects, and be an effective executive under who understood the business and where they fit within that in the organization. The second was a resurgence of COVID and what that might mean for managing future pandemics. That if anything, the COVID-19 pandemic taught them about the need for robust health crisis management as they would talk about it. CEOs wanna learn more about how to develop and maintain effective business continuity plans that can quickly adapt to such crises or health crises. Things that can ensure employee safety and compliance with rapidly shifting regulations from state to state and country to country while still mitigating the financial and operational impacts of those disruptions. The third were environmental, social, and governance issues, or ESG issues, that these are becoming more critical in crisis management. CEOs are looking to understand how environmental issues like climate change and sustainability, social issues like diversity and labor practices, and governance, ethical conduct and compliance, all can create risk to their organization, not just because of what they are, but also because these issues are starting to become more and more partisan, even in countries like the United States. They're eager to learn about how they can integrate these issues into their risk management frameworks and how they can respond to these crises more effectively in this area in the future. Number four were supply chain disruptions. Not a mystery to, or not a surprise rather, to those of you that have watched our videos or listened to our podcasts in the past. But global supply chain vulnerabilities were really exasperated by the COVID-19 pandemic. And on top of that, geopolitical tension, war, and natural disasters. CEOs are looking for strategies to build more resilient supply chains, including how they can diversify suppliers, increase buffers for inventory, and invest in supply chain transparency and flexibility. They see understanding how to anticipate, prepare for, and respond to supply chain disruptions is now critical for maintaining their business operations during a crisis. And then lastly is crisis communications in the digital age. As social media and instant communication has become more prevalent, information and misinformation spreads more rapidly. CEOs are eager to, eager to learn about how to manage communications effectively in a crisis, particularly when narratives can develop and escalate quickly over time, often before companies even realize the narrative is there. That involves not only crafting appropriate messages, but also effective and rapid social media monitoring and escalation, understanding the role of particular influencers, and then using digital platforms to communicate transparently and authentically with stakeholders. These issues reflect a broader understanding from CEOs about how crisis management extends beyond immediate response and includes preventive measures, stakeholder communications, reputation management, and long-term recovery and resilience planning. CEOs, from my standpoint, are recognizing that effective crisis management requires a proactive and strategic approach tailored to the unique threats and opportunities that organizations face. CEOs also commented how hard it is to find resilience leaders 
who understand the importance of integrating their resilient strategies into the strategic direction of the business, something you've heard us talk about many times in our articles and our podcasts and in our videos, and how much they're looking for leaders that are able to bridge that gap and help them effectively lead their organizations towards a more resilient strategy and future together. That's it for this video. I hope you'll follow us for more videos like this. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.